I like to say that sleep is at the confluence of multiple revolutions. One of them is the revolution in devices. You know, clearly now, you know, you all know we have, uh, you don't have some kind of device, surprising, but most people have a, a watch, whatever, an iPhone, etc. And And uh, I think more and more things are becoming smaller and smaller. And of course, I'm sure you know, when you do a sleep study, it's totally absurd. You put people in a bed, you have all this stuff, and it's just totally, as they don't sleep normally. And clearly, devices are going to probably be feasible in the next few years. But in addition, there's also a, a complete revolution in, in uh, uh, data analysis with artificial intelligence. And started to work about seven years ago and in working on deep learning. And initially, like most people who do this kind of work, I said, oh, this is against my gut. You know, I'm a scientist. I don't like this idea of just approximating things, just having a computer imitate humans. But actually, it's remarkable. It works. And now I think we can score sleep studies better than humans. Actually, we can even diagnose narcolepsy better than with nap tests, or as well as nap tests, by just looking at the sleep architecture even at night using machine learning and deep learning. We can detect arousals automatically better than humans. We still have trouble with sleep apnea. You know, like it's a very common condition. And the reason is not that the computer system have trouble. It's just the human is so unreliable that, you know, they disagree with each other so much that the computer kind of disagree as much as humans and it has really trouble to, to do it. So we have to, to do better. But definitely in the future, it will be like an AKG. Nobody will read AKG anymore. Uh, it will be done automatically. But what I hope is that we'll be able to miniaturize so that this is done at home over multiple nights, that we really know what's happening every day, mu multiple days after treatment. And that will really revolutionize you know, the way we take care of patients with sleep disorders.